Hey guys, DJ AB here. Today we're gonna go over organizing your Serato crates, playlist, whatever you feel like doing. I'm gonna show you guys a few things. Um, first of all, how I organize my music. Today I just got a bunch of songs. I literally just drag them into a folder. And from the folder, what I do, I use shift, shift on my keyboard. So I select the first song, hold down shift, and then I select the last song. Basically, that lets you highlight all of them, right? And the next thing I do is I hold the trackpad down, left side, I hold it down, and then with my other finger, I drag. Look at this, I'm dragging all six songs. And then I drag it into whatever folder I want to. For instance, I put them into the pop folder. I could drag it again since I already did it. It's not going to show any difference. But So these songs just got dragged over. The next thing I'm going to show you guys how I clean it up, right? For instance, uh, these songs um, didn't have an artist name. So what I did is I select the first song, hold shift down, and then select the last one. You could do it in either order, from here to here, or vice versa. So by selecting all of these, first thing I want to do is change the artist name. Since I know all these songs have the same artist name, I just double click here. And when you double click, it lets you make a change to the specific name. So in this case, I'm an artist section. It's going to allow me to change the artist section, but I could go into the comment session make a change so right now it's like hey you want to change this for all of the all of these six tags I can say yes or no I'm gonna say no and now I'm gonna go into the comment section and here I'm just gonna I could write anything I could just I could just say pop boom and then uh, what I did is I just press return on my keyboard and it says hey you want to update all six I'm gonna say yes see what it did it changed all of them right uh, on the first crate or the first um, uh, um, tab here, where it has the song name, I'm not gonna oh, I'm not gonna do all of them because I don't want these names to be all the same. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna double click, highlight the section that I want to delete, and hit the delete key. Same thing here. See that? I'm gonna delete all of these. Because I like to have my songs nice and organized. In this case, you see what I'm doing right here? I highlighted all of this. I'm going to do Command C on my keyboard. That's going to copy. And then I'm deleting because I want to paste that here. So I'm going to double click here. I'm going to do Command V to paste it. Then I'm going to remove this and hit return. Booyah. You see that? I just changed the artist and made it look nice and clean same thing i'm going to do this final one here i'm going to delete this but if i wanted to change it up there i could just come on command c copy delete come here paste it and then clean it up boom look at that you see how nice that was and also some of these songs what i like to do i i like to listen to them and i could just do command left or right uh usually left is command left is what adds it to your Serato uh, play area. So you can play and I can hold shift and press the tab and it starts playing. But the thing is what I like to do, these songs that I like, for instance, this, you see how I added a bunch of emojis? Literally I double click and then I copy the emoji. I'm gonna show you guys. So since I already have a lot of emojis here, um, I could just highlight the ones that I want. I do emoji and also I do stars because for me it helps me a lot. So what I do, I double click on the song. I'm going to remove this 120 and I'm just going to command V and paste it. So usually I do, I do stars because what I like to do is, for instance, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to find or I'm actually going to do command F. Command F is going to let me search all, all. And here you're gonna see my drop down. Look, I'm literally searching for everything except key. Uh, so in here, I'm gonna paste the artist's name. You see, it gives me all their songs. 
But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put space and then I'm going to put star. When I put star, that means it narrows my find to only show me the songs that have stars. So any artists that I'm looking for in songs that I put a lot of stars, for instance, I'll just say pop, kids, rock. You know what I mean? So I could do a search on that specific you know, comment that I added. I add comment all the time. It just helps me, you know, play play better, basically. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of times when you're not organized, it's a little harder because um, especially, I'm going to do another find here just to show you, especially artists have so many songs and sometimes you end up with so many versions of the same song. And... When you're in a spot DJing, if you don't know these songs by heart or you haven't listened to them in a while, you may be deciding like, hey, man, which one is the one that I should play, right? For me, because I use these fire emojis and because I use these stars, my God, it's a no-brainer. You know what I mean? Visually, I could just look at these songs and I could just DJ without headphones just by looking at the songs looking at my beats per minute and looking at the key, I could literally just DJ without headphones just because I know what I'm about to play next. You know what I mean? I already know it's a banger. I know it's a hit. Uh, so that kind of helps me. But a lot of this, I do it just for fun. For instance, my Latin folder, I have a little Puerto Rico flag. You know what I mean? Reggae, I got a little Jamaican flag. Uh, Cape Verde, I have the Cape Verdean flag. You know what I mean? Um, so I do different emojis uh, just just for fun, like I said. You know what I mean? And I'm going to show you guys how to do emojis. Uh, literally, what I do is I go to the, I open a web browser. I search for a specific emoji. For instance, I search for the fire emoji. All I'm going to do is just copy this emoji. You see that? I just highlight that emoji, command C, and then I'm going to go into Serato, and I'm going to, Double click on the song, space, and command V to paste it. Booyah. I just I just did that. You see what I mean? And I could find any little emoji. I mean, there's so many emojis out there, right? And you could just do either. I mean, you could do whatever. I could highlight all of these right now. Command C, go into Serato, and just command V to paste it. Look. So my songs have all these emojis on them. And believe it or not, when you get out of Serato or if you do Command R, you it's going to show you where that song is, right? So here's the song. And literally, Serato updates the song itself. So the song itself has the change that I just introduced. I just did a get info just so you could see the, the location of the song and also... It will, once I get out of Serato, it's going to show you when it was updated because of the changes that I just made actually gets updated on the song itself. I don't want to, I don't want to keep this here. I'm actually going to delete it. So I just highlight it um, and uh, I'm going to put this back to normal. I like to remove all the extra spaces. So I just hit delete. Uh, I like my library really clean. I write a lot of comments on the comment session. Just double click and then type what you want you know what i mean so i use that heavily but this is the way that i love to sort my uh, folders uh, i mean literally i i click on all and then i go by added so added is another another field that i added to you so usually right here on the on the right you could you could click here and you can add whatever field you wanna you wanna see. You know what I mean? For me, plays, key, co comments, beats per minute, uh, the bit rate. Sometimes I only have bit rate for the all. But if I go into individual folders like hip hop, for instance, you're not gonna see that, right? But for all, I like to see bit rate. Just because I want to sort, like right now I could sort on clicking on bitrate, and I could look at some of these tracks that are just literally very low. Um, look, look at the kilobits per second on these songs, 32, 64. Uh, so we know when you have something this low, 
the quality is usually not the greatest, right? Uh, even 128 is like standard, but I like to sort them through, and when I get a chance, I go through them, clean them up, rem remove them, replace them with better quality. You know what I mean? I do not like to keep any low quality songs, but it's one of those things, very time consuming. And, uh, you know, um, as a DJ, you're always going to be working on your playlist, on, on your entire crate. You want to be cleaning it up, organizing it. For me, I like to keep it simple. When I got an event coming up, like I have a wedding coming up soon, um, I create a folder just for that client. And within that folder, I add everything. I also have a playlist here. And if I expand this, you're going to see these are recent parties and recent playlists that I did. Uh, even for weddings, I, I saved some of my wedding clients just uh, just to keep in case I'm doing another wedding. I could just go into this and just grab stuff. You know what I mean? Sometimes I even have cocktail, dinner, dance, dance, slow. You know what I mean? I create different crates just for whatever my needs are. But yeah, I save all these playlists. And also, I like to have this short, you know what I mean? Uh, like, for instance, I have Latin. It go into reggaeton, dembo, merengue, bachata, salsa, cumbia, Brazil. So I, I like to keep it this way. But if I'm doing an event that doesn't require any Latin parties, I'm just going to minimize this so you don't see it taking space on my screen. Same thing. I like to keep my R&B and pop and hip hop kind of together. Um, but when I search inside of the hip hop folder, I could do a search for like pop. Everything that's pop just shows up. You know what I mean? There's also a way to uh, select the genre, right? Right here. But as you can see, it always says other. It's never clean or accurate. Uh, there's softwares out there that will populate this, will fix it for you. I haven't had a chance to do that, right? That's probably what I'm going to do next, is trying to organize my music a little better, use the software to have my genres. But for now, I like to just use this little comment section to put what I want. And believe it or not, it works very well for me. Um, next thing I'm going to show you guys is I like to go to all and also enable the location. So when you enable location, you scroll to the right, it's gonna show you exactly where your music is at, right? For me, if I sort on location, I can see I got something coming out of the download folder. Usually I don't like to keep music in download folder unless it's something like that I'm about to use. But otherwise, all my music's coming out of my Serato folder. And this is all internal to my computer. So Serato music, and then I have various crates. All my crates, literally, um, they're equivalent to the crate that I have on Serato. So if I ever lose all my playlists, God forbid, I could just grab the entire folder out of my computer. I'm just going to show you guys really quick. So if I go to, um, if I go to Finder and... I go to music, I'm gonna show you guys music right here. There you go, music. As you can see, I have a folder for everything, right? Like for instance, if I lose my reggae crate, I could just grab this whole reggae, drag it over here, and recreate it again. Everything is here, you know what I mean? So it's not perfect, but you know what I mean? I do my best to keep things nice and organized. Um, yeah. So based on the event that I'm going to be doing, I usually keep the folders up here so it's easier for me to go into them. Otherwise, I throw everything into others. If I go into others, you'll find rock, Christmas, Portuguese, Italian, Halloween, disco, modern, jazz, Christian, drops, and effects. So yeah, man. Um, like I said, everybody does it differently. This is my way. Hopefully you're a new upcoming DJ and you're, you know, trying to get some advice. Hopefully this video is helpful. You know what I mean? Otherwise, you know, feel free to put some questions, comments, um, and uh, let me know if you have any questions that I can help you with. But thanks for watching. As always, like DJ AB signing off.